This is ISTVA 2012. My name is Jamil J. Clark with Hitachi High Technologies and I'd like to highlight our product, the Broad IMB Milling Machine, the Hitachi IM4000. There are two significant key features for this tool, which is to perform cross-section milling and also flat milling. The argon ion beam that's used for this tool uh, provides a damageless type of uh, observation when it comes to sample preparation. With this, it's very simple for us to uh, set up samples as we have here for our flat milling. You can take mounted samples, attach that to one of our stubs that is compatible with all of our scanning electron microscopes, assemble that to the uh, jig assembly. Once we target the sample onto the stub itself, we can place our area of interest towards the center of that stub. From there, we can quickly load that into our Hitachi IM4000. When it comes to flat milling, there are several different tilting angles that we can produce. Uh, whether or not you want to prepare a very smooth, fine and flat surface, or a uh, relief effect uh, for that. In addition to flat milling, we can quickly exchange from flat milling to cross section. And by that, we can actually apply not just the flat milling holder itself, we can actually change that. So simply by changing the holder itself to the cross-section stage, we can follow this principle like shown in the screen above, where we can irradiate the area of interest against the mask plate. As the mask edge translates to that cross-section face, as far as this diagram on the screen is concerned, then we'll be able to improve the cross-section milled face uh, of the sample. Our range is from 0 to 6 kV, and actually only the Hitachi IM4000 has the highest milling rate available in the market today, which is 300 microns per hour. Other additional options that we have are for air protection, for samples that tend to be uh, susceptible to oxi oxidization. Uh, also, we do have low temperature cooling and cryo milling as well. So with the Hitachi IM4000, you can have it configured in two different modes. The first one will be for cross-section, as denoted by the C here. As we change from the cross-section mode, we just pull the stage drawer out. We remove our sample assembly that's normally designed for flat milling, and then we, or for cross-section, and then we can change that to uh, flat milling by simply pulling the knob on the front and changing to the F. Once we do that, we can take our flat milling with our mounted sample so that way we can improve that sample surface. Place that into the machine, close the drawer, and press the uh, evac button simply as that. What's uh, quite refined about the Hitachi IM4000 is the fact that uh, the gun is quite designed to be very efficient. It provides a one millimeter spot size with a high milling rate of 300 microns for cross-section milling. It's about five microns for flat milling as well. But only a quality of argon gas of four nines will be needed, 99.99%. Because of that, you can have more of a cost-effective uh, approach to setting up this uh, IM4000. It also includes a mass flow controller to regulate the pressure and a turbo molecular pump as well to improve the milling performance for preparing your samples. By Using the IM4000 in conjunction with other mechanical-based uh, preparations, you can uh, improve the yield and improve the quality of your milling uh, of the sample surface by using this, uh, this product itself. In addition to that, we do have the optical scope that can be mounted on the top. Uh, it does have a CCD camera, so that way you can observe and determine the extent of the mill. Uh, while it's in chamber as well. So while that's pumping down, we can actually see the smaller optical scope on the side which has our uh, stage cross-section assembly. What's very unique is that we can actually set up and pinpoint our target well within 10 microns uh, and adjust that on this uh, in itself. Because of that, then we can take the entire assembly and adjust it into the IM4000. So with all these different options, you should come to www.hitachi-hta.com for more information. And thanks again, ISPA 2012.